What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today I still have not gotten a floor mount so that I can properly show my background. And yes, I still will be filming the short that shows off both of these swords, plus the map, plus my books. Although, to be fair, this is only like an eighth of what I have. Um, but I've been a little bit busy lately. Um, long story short, before we jump into these pens, take, I'll take like 30 seconds. I left my previous employment uh, and I have joined a new one. <laughs> so I'm now in the process of getting uh, my license. I have joined the financial industry. So I've essentially gone back to school temporarily. So my brain is a little bit fried. Uh, learning lots of new stuff, taking all of the exams, and um, that's taking up the majority of my time these days. So I just haven't pulled the trigger yet, <laughs> um, but I still will be making time for these videos uh, because I love them and I have no plan on stopping anytime soon. So I've been using fountain pens to take my notes while I'm doing um, all of my schooling. And it kind of got me thinking, like while I was going through, uh, of like what pens are really good to do that. And there's sort of a two mindsets that I had. There's sort of a mindset of like what I think students who go to school should probably need, like people who are actually transiting every day, going into lecture halls and like that kind of stuff, like your, your typical university type kids. I'm not, I'm doing all uh, self-guided um, exams and, and, and licensing. So everything I'm doing is, is from home right now um, before I go into an office, which will be the first time I actually ever work in a proper office environment. It's the first time I will ever have a sit down job, which is gonna be interesting. But anyway, <laughs> um, I thought, you know what, I've been using like the same kind of pens recently and it got me thinking like, I've been using my best writers. I should probably let the folks know what are my best writers. So these are a few of my best writers and why I choose to use them, uh, why I've been rotating them in and out. Currently, I only have one pen inked up, you guys. One pen, one, can you believe it? That tells you how busy I've been. <laughs> so the one that I do have inked up and the one that I'm gonna to talk to you first, I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about because I have gone on and on about it since January of this year, but it should tell you how awesome it is. And that is the Bennu Briolette. This happens to be the luminous amber finish. This has a steel fine nib and is inked up with diamine ancient copper. Um, all of these pens, by the way, I do have full length reviews on if you want to check that out. Hey, 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 I just realized you you can see myself or I can see myself in the reflection of my swords. They are very sharp, by the way. <laughs> um, I may or may not have stabbed myself once. Um, so this briolette. <laughs> I absolutely adore it. It's really good for long writing sessions because it's super, super, super comfortable in my hand. It's nice and light. Um, it is a standard international cartridge converter, so it holds a good amount of ink. Um, that is so satisfying to twirl that. The nib, basically the, the, the main theme between the four that I'm gonna talk about is the nibs are dynamite. They're all smooth, they're all pretty wet. They all offer very little feedback uh, because I personally don't like that. Uh, they're all very consistent, so there's never any hard starts, there's never any skips. I just know what to expect. And I get such joy writing out of them. Um, so yeah, the Bennu Briolette, this is a number five size nib, so it's relatively small, but it is just, it's its small but mighty, you guys. It's like the, the Velociraptor versus T-Rex. I mean, the Velociraptor wins in my book. Just saying, come at me. <laughs> Next pen is certainly more of an expensive pen. Uh, it's probably one of the most expensive pens I have in my entire collection. Um, like I said, I've done a full review of it. I have also featured it in my favorite pens 
and my top five most disappointing pens. So yeah, can this sound tell you? That is the sound, of my friends, of a hook safe lock. That is my Visconti Homo Sapiens Arizona Sunset. This is the got the quickest action to open and close. So it's really, really great for quick notes. Um, so when I'm not writing down like long form answers and it's just like saw something in the textbook, doop, 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 done lock it up saw something in the textbook did you locked it up you know like when i'm um jotting notes down from the actual modules i'm doing like just super 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 quick um this is what i love because it's just like it's a quarter of a turn that's it that's all it needs <laughs> and it's amazing uh it holds a ridiculous amount of ink it is a piston fill and it does have piston fill oh my goodness gracious It is a vacuum fill fountain pen and it does have um, the double reservoir as well and you just get that super satisfying click <laughs> uh, when you use it um, when I use it for long form I will open up the back end but to be fair when I'm taking notes uh, when I'm studying and whatnot I don't even unscrew the back because there's just so much ink that you just don't need to so I adore it again sits really well in my hand it's heavier than the briolette so sometimes if i want something a little bit more substantial this is what i go for um, and to be fair if i want to fidget i found there was a section in one of my modules that was all about math and i was having like ptsd to my high school and you know college days uh just not loving math and I wanted something to fidget with while I was going through it. And this, just check it out. It did it for me. So def definitely, def 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 definitely, definitely. If you know what movie that's from, write it down in the comment section. Uh, then going on the polar opposite uh, payment wise or cost wise, <laughs> is the Jinhao X175. Uh, I go with this for two reasons. One, just like the others, it writes amazing. Super smooth, super wet, love it. Um, but I do it for two reasons. One, sometimes I want something with a chunky grip. And this is probably one of the chunkiest grips that I have. And it's a beast of a nib size. Like it's a number eight size. It's just an, a fine steel nib. Oh, um, this is an extra fine uh, gold nib, by the way. Uh, fine steel nib, beast of a pen. Uh, I like that it's chunky but light. Uh, I don't like chunky and heavy. I don't like very heavy pens, just as a general rule of thumb. Uh, I don't like. I don't like heavy pens, so that's when I go with this guy uh, this one is going to come into play when i'm writing longer sessions just like um well i mean i guess i'm not writing like long long <clears throat> sessions i have used this to journal with that i've journaled for like an hour plus um but when i'm definitely writing and rewriting some of my notes that i need to commit to memory so i was mentioning how i have a lot of trouble with math well i go over the problems over and 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 over so I can submit the formulas into my brain and hopefully it sticks there. <laughs> I'll let you know when I write the final exam. I've been passing all of my tests, but I need the final exam still. Um, and that's when I go for this guy because he's a beefy boy and sometimes you need the beef. Although fun fact, I don't actually eat beef. Um, <laughs> I'm not a vegetarian or vegan or anything. I just don't like red meat. Then the last one that I go for quite often is the Pilot Custom 912 FA nib with an ebonite feed. Again, much like the Briolette, I have talked about this thing to death. So I'm not gonna go too, too far over it, but why do I use this primarily? Well, because the FA nib definitely adds a flare. 
Uh, so it does give me a little bit more flex into it, which isn't necessarily why I use it, but like I've said in the past, um, I like that I can go back and like see what my, my attitude was um, because it does have that flex. But what that means is that it gives um, a lot of bounce back while you're writing. So even if you aren't intentionally flex writing, uh, much like a shock absorber in your car, um, it, it, it gives you that uh, leeway. So if you are a little bit more heavy handed, it doesn't fight you. It, it just just flows with you. <laughs> Um, so I really like this one when I don't want to, I, I, I don't know how to explain this because I was going to say when I don't want to feel the nib on the page, because that's a lie. You're going to feel the nib on the page always, but it's different. Like, you know, that feeling when you have a very stiff nib versus one that just gives a little to you, this gives a little to you, you know, sometimes you just want a hug. And that is what I get when I write with this pen. And the ebonite feed with the three slits in it, oh baby, she flows like Niagara Falls. It is just <laughs> the amount of ink that comes out of here. So uh, I definitely get a good bang for my buck with this one. Uh, and this one just offers me something a little bit more uh, special and a little bit bigger of a flare than the rest do. So these are the four pens that I've really been using most often uh, during this whole licensing experience. Uh, and they are really some of my best writers. Do I have some in my collection that are either on par or, or potentially better, but I guess it depends on my mood? Sure. I mean, my Pilot Custom A23, um, my Lom A2000, my Pelican M805, like they're solid, 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 solid. I could say that time and time again, writers, but these are just the ones that I've been going for recently. Some of my best writers, and that's why I've been choosing them. So I want to know in the comment section down below, what are some of your best writing fountain pens? Doesn't have to be four of them, could be one, could be ten. Just let me know some of your best writers, and uh, I'm going to be very curious to know what they are. Are any of them the same as mine? Who knows? Um, but if you did like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, do hit the subscribe. New content comes out every Monday and Friday, and the occasional Tuesday. Uh, check out the description below if you want to find the link to my Patreon account if you'd like to help support me and what I do on this channel. But regardless, if you've made it 13 minutes into this video, you are the reason that I'm making it. <laughs> and as always, I'll see you next time.